FBI being brought in to investigate the NFL's response. Rutgers right. has suspended leading wide receiver. Two San Antonio high school football players who each blindsided a referee. Carolina being placed on probation. Hello, I'm Emmett Gill and welcome to the Two Minute Warning. The NCAA and ACC pull out of NC. The NCAA will move seven championship events this academic year from the state of North Carolina, including the first and second rounds of the 2017 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament because of the state's controversial HB2 law. One day after, the Atlantic Coast Conference announced that it would move its championships, including its football title game in December and its women's basketball tournament in March, out of North Carolina in reaction to the state's controversial law that curbed anti-discrimination protections for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. Another problem for UNC athletics. North Carolina junior linebacker Alan Artis has been indefinitely suspended by the team after very publicly being accused of rape. In response, head football coach Larry Fedora said, we are aware of the misdemeanor charges against Alan Artis. Fedora knows damn well the only reason misdemeanor charges were filed was because the alleged victim couldn't get UNC to act on their claims. In North Carolina, anyone can go before a magistrate and swear to criminal acts that they claim happen against them. But charges that start that way can only be misdemeanors. Felonies must be brought by the district attorney's office. The Chapel Hill district attorney, who failed to prosecute anyone in the UNC paper class scandal, is still investigating the case. Delaney Robinson said she was raped on Valentine's Day in the Ram Village Apartments on UNC's campus. Robinson went to the hospital hours after the incident and gave an account of what she could remember to the sexual assault nurse. Robinson also said that she spoke with UNC Department of Public Safety investigators who asked her very humiliating and accusatory questions. The HBCU ass whoopings continue. I said this last season. HBCU guarantee games with Power Five conference schools in basketball and football need to stop. For crying out loud, it's getting embarrassing. There has to be another way for HBCU athletic departments to earn a paycheck. Shoot, just send the bands, because that's all the white folks really want to see. What they don't want to see is what happened in the Clemson versus South Carolina State sham mockery. South Carolina State coach Buddy Powell, after falling behind 45 to zero at halftime, agreed with Clemson's Dabo Sweeney to shorten the second half of Saturday's game by six minutes. The Tigers won 59 to zero, but not before a top five blooper occurred, when after the kickoff in the end zone, a South Carolina State player flipped the ball to the referee before taking a knee, which resulted in a TD after Clemson recovered the ball. Now, in addition to checking that player's SAT scores, it's time to stop the guaranteed games between HBCUs and Power Five conferences. Among the plethora of ass whoopings and injuries, schools like Howard in 2015 and Savannah State in 2012 have not finished full games against Power Five conference schools. Last week, 21 NFL players protested during week 21. I'm Emmett Gill. Thank you for joining us. This has been the Two Minute Warning.